An authorised installer will soon be arriving at your home or business to install some equipment inside your home to get you connected. Before the installer arrives, have a think about where you'd like the equipment located. A couple of options are ideal. The equipment and battery backup, if you ordered one, are about the size of a standard A4 sheet. It's important to consider a number of factors when selecting the best location, including the long-term use of the room. For example, think about where you may like to use the internet or modem and the impact from blinking lights. Choose a location that's close to a power point, in a cool, dry area such as an office or living room not somewhere where it may get damp, such as the kitchen or under a window. And lastly, don't place it where it could easily be knocked. If you're unsure about where to install the equipment, ask your internet or phone provider before your appointment. Remember, the installer will need to drill a hole through the wall, so if you're renting, you may need to get your landlord's permission beforehand. Someone over 18 will need to be home to authorise the work. The device should only be installed in a location that you are comfortable with. If your preferred locations are unsuitable, the installer will help you choose an alternative. If you are unhappy with where or how the device is being installed, talk to your internet or phone provider before signing off on the work. If you've ordered a landline phone service, you can plug your phone into the socket on the device. If you want to keep using other existing landline sockets, you'll need to call your internet or phone provider or a registered cabler to arrange this. Thank you and enjoy your new connection to the NBN network. Hi, I'm Rebecca from Optus. This video is all about helping you get ready for your NBN network installation. I'll guide you through your technician visit, setting up your modem, getting connected, and any further assistance you may need down the track. Now that your order has been submitted, we'll do our best to ensure you're up and running as soon as possible. Your Optus modem self-install kit will be on its way, and you'll be notified of your order status and how to track. If a technician needs to install equipment at your home, make sure whoever is home on the day is over 18 years old. This person will need to decide where equipment is installed and assist with any other questions about the installation. Your NBN network connection requires three pieces of equipment, a utility box, a connection box, and a modem. The utility box will be installed on an outside wall of your home. Next, the NBN network installer will set up the connection box inside your home. You can choose the location of the NBN network socket. Ideally, this should be in a central location in the house, as this is where your modem also needs to go. The NBN network installer will test that everything is working and confirm that the job is completed. You'll receive your Optus modem self-install kit a couple of days before your NBN network installation. Be sure to have a read of the setup guide included in the box. Your modem has an indoor range of up to 25 metres. If your home is two storeys, it should be placed in an elevated position on the ground floor and ideally somewhere central. If that's not possible, you may require a Wi-Fi range extender or Wi-Fi mesh device for optimum service. To get that signal sweet spot, your modem should be 1 to 1.5 metres off the ground and situated away from large electronic devices such as TVs and speakers. Somewhere easily accessible and well ventilated, as well as safe from any bumps or knocks. If you've arranged a professional installation, an Optus technician will connect your modem as a separate appointment after the NBN network installer has completed their work. Otherwise, simply follow the step-by-step -step instructions included in the kit to get connected yourself. The modem will now automatically configure and you should be online after 20 minutes. If you need additional help, visit optus.com.au forward slash getting started for contact details or to chat with us online. In this video, I will talk you through how to set up your new Telstra smart modem and connect to your NBN service. This video focuses specifically on NBN Fibre to the Premises, or FTTP for short. 
as well as NBN fixed wireless. If you have another connection type, please select the video that relates to that one. This setup process itself will take around half an hour and the transitioning of your fixed services to the NBN can take up to an hour. So it's a good idea to make sure you have another way to contact or be contacted if the need arises. A charged mobile should do the trick. Before we get started, have your Telstra smart modem and any cables that came in the box ready to go. Be sure to take the time to read any information that came with those devices, especially the incompatible devices section of your quick start guide. Decide on where your modem will live. You'll want to make sure this isn't inside a cabinet or behind any large objects to ensure you get the best Wi-Fi signal throughout your home. You'll also need to have one power outlet and access to the NBN connection box nearby. Once you've settled on a spot, unplug any and all devices connected to telephone ports around your home. Now we're ready to begin. Retrieve the modem from its box and locate the cord with one yellow end and one red end. Take the yellow end of the cord and plug it into the yellow port on the NBN connection box and plug the red end into the red port on the smart modem. The power cord for the smart modem will be connected already, so now take the grey power adapter, plug that into a nearby power outlet and switch it on. The Telstra smart modem is now going to start up. When it does, the light at the front will be white, letting you know that the device has powered up. While it's in the process of connecting to the internet, it will turn orange and once a connection is established, it will turn green. It's not uncommon for that light to change back and forth between these colours while it's starting up, so don't worry if it goes green for a moment and then back to orange again. This startup and connection process will usually take around 15 minutes, but can take up to half an hour in some instances. Once the light on the front settles on green, you're ready to connect to the internet. Even if you don't need to use your service right away, it's important to leave that all set up as we will need to run a few tests on your newly connected service just to make sure everything is working properly. But if you do want to get into it right away, you don't need to wait. We'll run those tests in the background so you can feel free to start connecting your devices to your Telstra smart modem. To connect to your modem via Wi-Fi, locate the fridge magnet that came in the box with your smart modem. This will have the login details you need. To connect to your modem via Ethernet cable, grab the LAN cable, that's the one with two yellow ends. Plug one end into any yellow port on the Telstra smart modem and the other into your device's network port. If you want to plug your phone in as well, take the grey cable which came with that device and repeat the Ethernet cable steps, plugging it into the green phone port. And remember, your modem will need to be switched on to make and receive calls. If your modem is having trouble connecting to the NBN network, try turning it off, waiting a minute and turning it back on again. And we're done. It's as easy as that. But if you do have any other questions or just want some advice about getting the most out of your internet service, head to telstra.com forward slash support and check out our online help centre. Hi, and welcome to Dodo NBN. I'm here to help you set up your fibre to the premises NBN technology. FTTP technology delivers fibre cables directly to your home, replacing all existing copper cables. This video will cover all you need to know about setting up fibre to the premises NBN, including what we are sending you and how to set up your NBN. We'll SMS you to confirm that your NBN is active, so plug in your modem and get connected. Here's everything you will receive in your kit. The Dodo NBN modem, two ethernet cables, a power adapter, a telephone cable, and your Wi-Fi security code found on the back of your modem. There are three easy steps. One, plug in the cables. Two, check the lights. Three, connect your devices. Firstly, connect your power cable from the port on the back of the modem to the power socket. Plug the Ethernet cable from the WAN port to the first port in the UniD section of your NBN device. Now power on the modem. Your modem is now auto-configuring and this may take up to 15 minutes. After this time, 
these are the lights that should be on. If you'd like to connect a device via a cable, connect the Ethernet cable that came in the box into one of the yellow LAN ports in the back of the modem and the other end to your device. The LAN 1 light should now be on. If you'd like to connect a device via Wi-Fi, use the SSID and WLAN key on the back of the modem. Simply select the SSID, which is the network name on the list of Wi-Fi sources on your device, and type in the password, which is the WLAN key. Now that your internet is working, sometimes it can take 24 hours for your home phone to be switched over to the NBN. To connect your phone, plug the telephone cable from the Phone 1 port in the back of your modem to your home phone handset. Turn your modem off and on again and allow the phone service 15 minutes to auto-configure. Once it's working, the VoIP light should be on too. If you find you can't make calls after 24 hours, then turn your modem off and on again and see if it starts working. If you have any devices in your home that are connected using the traditional phone line, like medical equipment, alarms or fax machines, please contact the supplier to ensure they are compatible with the NBN. If you're having any issues, we're available to be contacted via live chat on our website or call our tech support team. We hope you enjoy being connected to Dodo NBN. Setting up NBN fiber to the premises is easy. Before you get started, you'll need three things. A message from us advising that your NBN service is active, your NBN modem and an NBN connection box installed in your home. If your home has been connected to the NBN before, there may already be a connection box installed at the premises. If not, we'll arrange for a technician to come and install one. First things first, find your NBN connection box. This is most commonly installed on the inside of an outer wall of the premises, sometimes in the garage. You may need to lift the cover to see the ports and lights on your connection box. Gently prise the cover away from the two clips holding it in place at the bottom of the unit, and then lift the cover upwards. Make sure that your connection box is connected to the nearby power supply unit, which should have its own electrical outlet. Next, it's time to plug in your modem. The WAN port on your modem needs to be connected to the UniD1 port on your NBN connection box via the Ethernet cable. Next, use your modem's power cable to connect the power port to an electrical outlet. Finally, make sure the electrical outlets for both devices are switched on and press the modem's power button to turn it on. Allow 15 minutes for your modem to boot up and configure automatically. Once you're done, check the lights on your connection box. If the UniD1 light stays off after you've plugged it in, you may need a different UniD port. Try connecting your modem's WAN port to the UniD2, 3 and 4 ports, waiting a while after each port to see if the corresponding UniD light turns on. Once there are no red lights, you can start connecting your devices and get online. You can use additional Ethernet cables to connect devices to any of the four yellow LAN ports. If you'd like to use your NBN fiber phone line, plug the handset into the Uni V1 port on your NBN connection box. Otherwise, you can just connect devices via Wi-Fi. You'll find the Wi-Fi name and password on your modem's barcode sticker. That's all there is to it. If you have any trouble getting online, give us a call and we'll be happy to help. Setting up NBN fibre to the premises is easy. Before you get started, you'll need three things. A message from us advising that your NBN service is active, your NBN modem, and an NBN connection box installed in your home. If your home has been connected to the NBN before, there may already be a connection box installed at your premises. If not, we'll arrange for a technician to come and install one. First things first, find your NBN connection box. This is most commonly installed on the inside of an outer wall of the premises, sometimes in the garage. You may need to lift the cover to see the ports and lights on your connection box. Gently prise the cover away from the two clips holding it in place at the bottom of the unit and then lift the cover upwards. 
Make sure that your connection box is connected to the nearby electrical outlet or to the battery backup unit if there's one in your home. Next, it's time to plug in your NVN modem. The WAN port on your modem needs to be connected to the UniD1 port on your NVN connection box via Ethernet cable. Next, use your modem's power cable to connect the power port to an electrical outlet. Finally, make sure the electrical outlets for both devices are switched on and press the modem's power button to turn it on. Allow 15 minutes for your modem to boot up and configure automatically. Once you're done, check the lights on your connection box. If the UniD1 light stays off after you've plugged in, you may need a different UniD port. Try connecting your modem's WAN port to the UniD2, 3 and 4 ports, waiting a while after each port to see if the corresponding UniD light turns on. Once there are no red lights, you can start connecting your devices and get online. You can use additional Ethernet cables to connect devices to any of the four yellow LAN ports. Our NBN plans include a phone service. If you'd like to use it, you'll need to plug a handset into the Uni V1 port on your NBN connection box. Otherwise, you can just connect devices via Wi-Fi. You'll find the Wi-Fi name and password on your modem's barcode sticker. That's all there is to it. If you have any trouble, visit our community page on community.tpg.com.au or give us a call on 13 14 23 and we'll be happy to help.